Yeah, look at him down there, thinking he's so smug and cool. Thinking he runs this world, thinking he can't be stopped. Well, it'll be right with the last one anyways, because my friends, this manticore is untouchable. He's he's indestructible. There's, there's nothing I can do to stop him. And uh, unfortunately, I need to um, I need a call defeat. I need to wave that white flag and just accept that this guy is going to exist in our world until he decides not to. But unfortunately, he will be the one deciding, not me, because I can't get rid of him. He's too strong. He's too powerful. In fact, he's not even strong or powerful. He's just indestructible. He heals himself up too quickly. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Omega Mod series yes this is the reality we face now we have this colossus mega what is he again well what's his what's his name he's a mythical god he's a mythical manticore and there's nothing i can do about it that's it he's here to stay there's absolutely no way that i can get rid of him um i've tried i've tried i've tried time and time again i tried after yesterday's episode um and it's just it's just not happening but i found something else in the world to distract me in the meantime to at least help me get over the fact that he is here to stay i found a unique dinosaur yes another one and this time it's not a fish it's not a shark that spawns tornadoes yes it's not a shark nado no this one here is an actual land dinosaur it's actually something that i will be able to utilize to my advantage as long as I don't kill it like we killed Bolt the Pteranodon. So we're going to try and tame this thing up today. And, oh, I haven't even included the best part just yet. No, uh, it is a Paragon Dinosaur Frenzy. Like, it's it's a species of dinosaur where we often get Paragon Souls. So this might be a good one. We might be able to cusp of something great here. Guys, if you do enjoy the video, please go ahead. Bite that thumbs up. Make it rain, those thumbs ups. Now, what am I talking about? That's a fantastic question. I should probably share, shouldn't I? Well, if we just jump into here and type in the magical word, collider you'll find i'm talking about a listrosaur no i'm joking that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is called dismay now dismay is a raptor that's right not only is it a land dinosaur but it is some it's something it's a something nearby but it's also something that can deal a chunk of damage when you need him to he's just a little bit further out here and guys, I, th I feel like we just need to do we need to tame it i decided to whip it back to base really really quickly switch up tactics we're going to take out griffin instead also we're obviously going to need dang it i brought cable but i forgot my taming potion now up until this one here we haven't really found many uniques in fact maybe like five total only one of which was an actual i could probably take say that i found it um because i think the only one we actually found on our own accord was the zapter that's right and we found its dead body we killed it we killed it and then we realized what we had found and so there wasn't really much we could do about that um but oh, do you reckon i need another kibble i think we can actually feed it I'll feed it a beta cable if we need to. Um, but, oh yeah, I'm hoping my little one alpha dart will be able to take it down. But other than that, we found the static fish. We've seen Sharknado, a megalodon who can summon in tornadoes. We found, who else was there? There's definitely been, oh, 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 a bolt, the pteranodon, and then Zapter. I think that's literally it. I think that, yeah, that, that is 100% it. So this is like the fifth. This is the fifth unique that we have found at all and let's hope that we can actually secure this one and add it to our little collection of one we've only got one unique but let's hope we can actually tame this thing i can see it down there because it stands out like crazy the only thing is okay hold on all right all right i'm just gonna this is gonna be a tedious one to do i think just because of well it's running around in a raptor pack and there's just a lot of other crazies running around at the same time so I'm gonna take down some of the threats i might even be able to just pick it up I'm going to try and just pick it up. Can, 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 surely a griffin can pick up a raptor, right? I'm having a bit of trouble with that. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm trying to be really careful here. Uh, okay, okay, let's go. Come on. Surely. It's a little raptor. Okay, it doesn't seem overly strong, or at least not deadly to my griffin. So that that's a good sign. I mean, maybe we just tame it right here. Maybe I can just pop a dart straight into the thing. Uh, what sort of 51,000 torpor? I don't even think this dart's going to take care of it. But at least it has a... No. Okay. Okay. Can we not be doing that around my future team here, please? Um, okay. Let's get rid of you. All right. That's one threat. Okay. And then there's an alpha rex out here as well. Um, and a beehive. <laughs> not that a beehive is going to be an issue. Anyways, let's see what this one dart can do for us. Nothing. Because I missed. I missed the shot. Did I, did I bring any other forms of... Ah, I didn't bring anything. I didn't bring anything. 
Didn't bring anything that can actually knock this thing out. Can and uh, uh, yeah, 100% cannot pick this up. All right, cool. So we're gonna have to return back to base really, really quickly. At least I'll grab I don't know an Omega Dart or something. Something that can actually take this down in a single hit without any dramas. My Griff, you, thanks. Thank, thank you very much, Griffin. Thank you for flying me out of my base. You know the opposite of. And then you and then you just land in my base. Fantastic. Okay, great. I love when my dinosaurs cooperate. It uh, really makes me feel special. So, I guess I'll just craft up a dart then. Give me a dart. Maybe two. Because I'll probably... I'll, give me another two. Because I'll probably miss a couple. Because that's, you know, what we do. Okay. Now we're set. Let's go and do this thing. Um, up there. Fantastic. Let me equip the darts. The Omega darts. And then hopefully... We can nail this guy with a single one. And we can get him nice and home. And then we can uh, start working on it and see how strong we can get this thing. So... Alright. Can you even knock this thing out? Wait. Oh, no. Hold on. For a second there, I thought it said it needs... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I thought for a second it said it needed resource cable, but that was the Bronto over in the distance. Okay. Well, it's knocked out. Great. That's fantastic. Okay, cool. Alright, I was so worried my griffin was gonna like... Oh my gosh, what even is this thing? Um, I was so worried my griffin was gonna like dismount me. And like try and eat this raptor up. But there we go, just a single piece of kibble and that's that. Nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna pick it straight up because I don't want to lose it. And we're gonna get this thing back to base so we can properly check this thing out. And see what it actually does. Now I'm just gonna teleport back to base even though we are pretty close. May as well just do that. And uh, well, yes. Okay, we've got another unique. And I, I, I didn't even actually get a chance to give it a good look, but uh, it looks pretty darn unique to me. So let's have a look. Uh, what have I got? We're not gonna throw the fish out because it'll die. We are though gonna drop the raptor, if you can even call it that. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack here. There is a lot going on here. <laughs> and I don't really know how to, okay, cool. Uh, I'll get you a saddle, okay? We'll get you a saddle, okay? <laughs> Why not? I don't think we've got any... Oh, actually. No, we haven't really had any, like, solid raptors. So, I wouldn't have any better saddles either. I'll have to pay attention to a good one, though. Uh, but there we go. You can see the, you can see the saddle, but that's about all you can see. Uh, we're going to find out what this thing's actually capable of, though. As you may remember, unique dinosaurs have double abilities. They have two. So, we have, I guess, one attached to the C button. Which, my guess says it's random. I think we've got the random ability where we summon in three random friends or a couple random friends. And then we've got the X ability, which... Oh, okay. It was... Uh, he was the meteor striker. I thought it was some other wild dinosaur, but nope. It was me all along. All right, well, that's kind of cool. That's actually a pretty cool set of attacks. I mean, there's nothing too constantly damage dealing, but... They're not ones that you scoff at, especially once we get him nice and leveled up. Now, unfortunately, that's going to take a little bit of time because we need to get ourselves a bunch of raptor soul things, but I've already got one. We already have one, and, uh, you know, based off of what you probably may have witnessed us do the other day, we can technically just... Well, we can craft these things here up that you can feed to unique dinosaurs uh, to evolve them up the, the food chain. So we can literally just go bam, and now it's a beta! Uh, and we can keep on doing that all the way up to Omega. That, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. So I don't really know what sort of damage it's going to dealing, but we need to go hunting Raptor uh, Paragon Souls. The only thing is, we're going to need, what, one, two, three, four. We're going to need four just to get it to Omega. And then if we want to go and feed a Paragon Souls, we're going to need another uh, uh, 15. So like 20. We're going to need 20 Paragon Souls. Raptor Paragon Souls. So please tell me we have some Paragon Souls. For a Raptor in particular. We're going to try it on one out there. I might actually need to go and stop and grab that. Um, We do not see any Raptor ones. Oh, come on. This must be like the only time I've never seen a... This has got to be the only time I haven't seen Raptor ones. However, did I see Lystrosaurus up here? No, I didn't. I'm imagining that. Man, if we had the Lystrosaurus one, then I'd go and pay that Lystro, that unique Lystro, whatever his name was. Collider? Kaleidoscope? Whatever his name was. I'd go and pay him a visit, but... Dang it. Oh, that's okay. 
That's no biggie. I've actually been thinking lately, we need to go hunting these Paragon dinosaurs. I'm talking like properly hunting them because as you can see in here, this is like a new page that was added to the little book recently. It actually keeps tabs on the chances of these crazy loot bosses and uh, soul eater, like the soul god and the essence god, all of these things summoning in on this timer. So whenever this timer reaches zero, um, there's a chance that one of these will spawn. And the more you kill of each tier, the higher chance there is one of those spawns. So, for example, the Paragon monster down here, we've only got a 6% chance that the basic one spawns in. However, let me just type in Paragon again. And we'll, we'll sort it by distance. Who's the closest one to me? I just want to quickly... A Piranha. All right. Let me quickly go and get this Piranha. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, currently, it was, what, 6% on basic, and then the rest were all blank. Um, every time we kill one, I think it increases it by 1%. So basically, if I go start farming Paragon Dinosaurs, um, there's a chance that we get the Paragon God, I suppose. I guess that's, that, that's the best way to describe it. Did I kill it? Yeah, I definitely killed it. So let's see if that actually works out. There we go. Okay, seven basic, one alpha. I think that one was already there, but basic is now 7%. Wow, okay. There must be an eruption dinosaur down there. But you do that to enough of them, and obviously the percentage chance gets high enough to the point where you are guaranteed one. And then apparently upon taking those down, there's a chance that they... I think they drop like a bunch of Paragon Souls, basically. So that would be a good way for us to get some of the rarer ones that we've uh, unfortunately not been able to do. So I've been thinking of going Paragon hunting at some stage. Obviously, they're, you don't get a lot of them on the map, but you can also do it with loot dinosaurs. There's a lot of those. You can also do it with, oh yeah, the soul and the other ones as well, which our percentage chances are actually getting rather high on those ones there. So I really want to try those ones out soon. But for now, my focus is really on our Raptor dude. I really want to get that up nice and high. Perhaps though, what we could do, while we wait and see what happens, we could pay this Collider a visit. <laughs> The Beta Collider Lystrosaurus. Why not? It's another unique. Maybe he'll end up rather strong. In fact, I don't know what his abilities are. I do have no idea. But maybe, imagine imagine they're like ridiculously powerful. Maybe it's Rage. Imagine you got a little Rage cross a Starfire or something like that. Or, I don't, I don't know. It could be anything. Also, that is really far away. Couldn't have found something a little bit closer, I suppose. <laughs> Put it this way, okay. I'm going to determine whether I tame this thing or not based entirely on its appearance. If it looks cool, I'll consider it. But, uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit lackluster. Then I'll leave it. I'll leave it out here. I'll leave it to live out its days in the wild on its own. But here we go. I'm assuming it's going to be right on the shoreline. There it is. It looks red. It just fell from the sky. It's a Gorgon and a Comet. What is a Gorgon? Oh, Gorgon turns to, to stone. And the Comet obviously drops a Comet. It only requires one kibble, which I'm pretty sure I left at base. I could actually tame this up, but I'm just trying to get a good look at the look of it. I think it's, it, I think it's just, oh, it doesn't look anywhere near as cool as Dismay, our raptor. He kind of just, he, I mean, he kind of looks funky. He kind of looks like he's got like stone skin. Actually, he looks really cool. Have a look at him. Oh, damn, that's actually pretty awesome. He's got like this, oh, what a, looks like a, like a ruby or like a, like a gemstone of some sort. That's, that's actually really cool. Anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave him be. I probably won't get much use out of him anyway. So, it's been a little while since the first part of this video because I decided to just spend a little bit of time alone, just one-on-one -on -one with my manticore, taking down a, uh, pretty much every paragon and loot dinosaur that I could find around the place. And we're doing a pretty good job of it so far. Currently... Uh, where is my little thing, my Bobby over here? Lucky gods, have a look at this. So I went on a bit of a loot dinosaur killing spree. And as you can see, we are at 29% basic, 19 beta. And obviously it increases the higher you get here, uh, which means that once this timer runs to zero, that's the percentage chance that one of these will spawn in. I think at one of our boss summoner thingamabobbies. Um, same for souls. I haven't touched any, but that's currently at 40%. Essence is at 46%. Again, haven't seeked those. Paragons though, we now have reached 13% uh, when it comes to a basic one and then one and two for alpha because there's not many of those uh, other variants out in the wild. Anyways, I'm going to continue doing this. Um, and oh, and by the way, <laughs> yeah, I told you we've been killing uh, loot dinosaurs. Have a look at all this loot. I, I haven't even searched through it yet. I don't know if there's anything special here or not, uh, but I got some... Uh, I guess I got some sorting to do. Anyways, I'm going to keep on doing this and hopefully... Hopefully we'll have ourselves something special uh, spawning in this world at some point. 
soon. And we're back! Yeah, back at base. Yes, it's been a long old adventure, this one here. Mainly for me, not so much for you guys. And I got a surprise on my sleeve for years. Unfortunately, no, it's not one of the gods, bosses, whatever you want to call these things that we have been uh, trying to encourage the game to deliver us. No, what I have is another unique dinosaur. That's right. Have a look at what I found on my journeys. We got ourselves a bolt to rat it on. You can barely even see it. It's so hidden. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe what I gotta do... Let me try this instead. Maybe if I can drop him inside, it'll give us a better, better, like, vision of what he looks like. Bam! It doesn't really make it much easier, but you can kind of get an idea of him. He's definitely there. That's all I need to tell you is now this guy is Alpha, which made it a lot easier to tame up than the previous one that we accidentally killed when we tried to knock it out because he had a lot more health. Uh, we're talking like, well, now he's got 40,000. I think he had maybe 30,000 health, but um, get a load of him. He is actually a spiritual lightning pteranodon. What does that mean? It means he can shoot lightning bolts, but not only that, he's spiritual, which means he can fly very, very quickly. Yeah, that's what it means. Okay, my brain for a second wanted to think he was dimensional and that he could fly underwater, but no. He's just very, very fast. Um, I should get a saddle for it, shouldn't I? Yeah, we are. We should see like what how fast this thing actually is. Um, but yes, I'll show you in a second what sort of damage we did to these counters that uh, we were trying to, I guess, build up a little bit. Um, let me just drop that in there. I'm pressing all sorts of wrong buttons on my mouse right now. And let's see what my dude here is capable of. For one, it looks like I'm just flying around on nothing okay that that's a good angle there we go there's definitely pteranodon under me but like if you <laughs> if you're flying around like this you can't see a thing it just looks like i'm flying around on a on, on a saddle just literally just looks like it's me on a saddle that's actually kind of funny um but anyways yeah this is what it does and i guess you can lightning blast except you can do infinite lightning blasts Ooh. now that could be interesting against something like per se a mythical god yes uh probably not though probably not but hey if they dealt enough damage if you got it strong enough you could probably deal some pretty crazy damage to uh something with a lot of damage. well yeah just high dps is what i'm saying here especially once you go and level it up a few times which we just so happen to be able to do because as you know we were killing a bunch of paragon dinosaurs to the point where we have what's this 18 18 Paragon Souls. Uh, we've got a bunch of other things as well. Getaway Orbs. Um, I dropped so much loot. Look at this. Look at all the health potions and stamina potions we collected too. Um, but have a look at this. We got one, two, three Tyranidon Souls. We even got a Raptor Soul. And I think the rest of this is all pretty much useless to us. We got some Coal Souls as well, which means we can make our little, our little, uh, what, 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 what is he? Our little Coal. Our Static. Our little Static Fish a little bit stronger. I think I got a Hyenodon Soul as well, so I can go and give my dude over here one extra level as well because well why not i suppose there you go little man uh that makes you level seven i swear we got it a higher paragon level but i guess seven is as high as we got it uh but anyways oh dismay no hold on i was about to paragon level dismay up that's not what we're doing with this soul with this one we actually want to make it into an alpha yes and then I can I can give you my alpha token and we can make you extra strong. Bam! All right. One step closer to Omega and then eventually, potentially, gods. Anyways, my dude over here, he about to get a mega power boost. We can pro we can take him all the way to Omega, I'm pretty sure, as a matter of fact, because we got three souls, uh, which means he's what? He's alpha, which means we can go prime, which means we can go ultimate, which means we can go Omega. Yeah, all the way all the way so let's do exactly that and see how strong my dude here becomes yeah we got a little bit sidetracked today as you can see <laughs> i basically just binged a bunch of youtube videos while flying around the world um and we did we did a pretty good job of it so we go prime ultimate omega we have ourselves an omega bolt right here um which i guess we could give it a couple of little in fact we give it some of these health potions we got so many of them we may as well um but yeah what an absolute machine we haven't even leveled this thing up like at all obviously because i just introduced you to it hey uh, <laughs> that goes without saying um but i feel like this thing might kick some serious butt especially because it's got i guess double damage i 
guess that's how it works. I do want to get more Raptor Paragons, though. I want to get this guy up to a mega. See how much sort of damage that guy there deals. Um, but yeah, our bolt here, kicking serious. But now, how do we actually do as far as Lucky God spawning stuff? Oh, we'll have a look at this. In 35 point, well, 35 minutes, 41 seconds from right this second, um, we will have a 68% chance that a basic Luticorn summons in. The Luticorn is meant to be one of the strongest bosses in the game. So I'm interested in seeing what happens there. On top of that, we've got 42% chance for Soul Eater. We've got a 51% chance of an Essence Hoarder. And then down here, we have a 35% chance that a Paragon Monster summons in. But that one there is in about a little, little over an hour. So obviously, these aren't going to fall into today. They'll fall into tomorrow. But there is a chance that we'll get something here summoning in and... Yeah, I guess we're going to have to wait and see how it goes. I want to... I'm going to try and increase this one here up, though. Um, because 35% chance is not enough. That's like a 1 in 3. And then these ones here are kind of small, too. But I got a pretty good feeling something up here is going to spawn in at these times. So, hopefully... We're going to all cross our fingers and hope that that actually happens. Anyways, for now, what I want to do... You know what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to take this dude up to visit my old pal. We're going to... Actually, I'll, I'll bring a couple of these because... Might take us a few shots. We're going to take him up to visit old Centurion. Get him nice and, uh, well, nice and leveled up. I want to see how strong we can get it. Especially now that it's an Omega. So, let's do this thing. I'm going to bring my Raptor with me, aren't I? Nope, just me. Good. I didn't want to bring anyone else with me. Fantastic. Okay. So, take these, friends. It's dangerous to go alone. We're going to fly on up here. Oh, there's actually not a whole lot going on. But there, have a look at this. Um, okay, not dealing crazy amounts of damage, but not terrible. Not terrible at all. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, is that good? We'll say I saw a mist thing pop up, which means there might be a soul down there. Anyways, we got, we got all 300 levels out of that. That's awesome. Okay, well, I'm just going to perch it down here. Let's go and distribute these levels. Uh, you guys know the drill by now. It's 88 into health, 88 into damage, and then we just spread the other ones wherever sees fit. Uh, stamina seems like a very, very important place to put some levels since we can pretty much just... Hey! Who should be shooting lightning bolts down at me? That's... Hey! All right, all right. I see how it is. Okay, I'm actually taking a bit of damage. All right. Um, can we cut that out, please? I'm actually getting stunned. What in the world is your problem, buddy? I get I kind of just came up and, you know, tormented your, your family and stuff, but come on. We don't need to do this. Anyways, let's finish this one here off. So that's 88 into there. Let's put these next 12 into stamina. Like I said, that's going to be really important. Let's go 88 into a melee damage. I got a feeling it's not going to be that strong yet. But once we get its paragon levels up and we start doubling up its stats and stuff, that's when this guy is going to be crazy and uh one of the beautiful things is we get a lot of pteranodon and raptor paragon dinosaur spawning in this world hope I, I wish we had more from our little journeys just then but unfortunately that wasn't the case so let's go another 12 levels into stamina and now let's go and see actually nope let's not go and see anything let me go and give my dude here some heals but now i want to see what sort of damage our lightning bo bo blobs are dealing all right 15 th all right so nothing crazy just yet but we got a long way to go. It's all good. Um, okay. So, I guess we got to find something a little bit stronger to really test this out on. I kind of like how accurate these shots are too, by the way. What is that? By the, that kind of looks funky. Oh, it's that, that's a wood scout? It looks not like a wood scout. Oh, it's frenzied. Something's frenzied the wild dinosaurs. All right. Let's go find something with a little bit more strength, a little bit more power. And we'll go and pop some shots into that and see what we can do to that. Um... These RG, I guess, why not? Let's have a look. All right, see, that's actually pretty good damage. Imagine just stacking that up over and over again. Could be rather interesting. The other thing I want to find out, though, is how many times do I have to spam this? Yeah, look at our stamina drain. Our stamina be draining. Oh, say, <laughs> there's like a little bit of, um, what do you call it, when you fire a gun and it forces you back a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Recoil. There's recoil. It, like, shoots me back a little bit. So it's kind of funny. Anyways, 100 levels. I think it only makes sense to at least drop 50 of these maybe into stamina. We'll see what that does, all right? Yeah, you know what? My stamina still drops just as fast. And then we'll drop the other 50 into speed. Because why not have a ridiculously fast... Oh, snap. Okay, that's actually kind of worrying. That recoil when you're... Like, let's travel. Like, look at this. All right, full speed ahead. And the recoil just launches us down. I feel like it's only a matter of time before that, like, 
we sends us crashing into the ocean and then we like i don't know end up hurting ourselves a little bit all right the rest are gonna go into stamina we've got plenty of speed already um but all in all this thing is a machine i, I like it a lot look at this there, there, there nothing's gonna withstand this beast right here uh, unless it's i mean there, there are things that can withstand it, but i mean it's still pretty powerful is the point of getting to let's take you back home though because now we're going to go and test out our dismay raptor and see what it's made of see what it can do now that we've given it a oh my gosh just this thing on on the ground it's fast even just i'm so gonna lose you man i'm actually i'm absolutely loving these unique dinosaurs i wish we'd pursued this stuff sooner why did we wait till now i have no idea um, I guess they were a little bit harder to find back then. That healed me up instantly. Um, we could go and max my dude here out, but I feel like we got to get some more levels into it before we truly understand how strong it is. So we should be able to summon in... Well, yeah, we can summon in up to alphas now, which is kind of cool with our random summon ability. Also, look at this. We've got a squad of four. And then we've got our X ability. I can't remember what that does. Oh, yeah, that's the Meteor Strike one. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, 6,000 damage, so we're not much of a biter. But hey, we can summon in little armies of friends and stuff. That's kind of cool. That's actually really cool. In fact, are you guys going to despawn or what? You guys just here to stay? My little... Okay. Hey, you're more than, more than welcome to stay. But Griffin's just gone walkabouts as well. Hey, I don't have a problem. But they, can, they can stay here forever. It's like free... It's like free tames at this point. That's actually freaking awesome. Awesome. That's so cool. All right. So before we uh, go any further, let me have one last little check though of we got what sort of paragons we got out there in the wild currently. I'm pretty sure we... Okay. I didn't think we had many, but um, anything interesting? Oh, we got a Tyranodon. Oh, cool. Okay. That's very cool. Oh, fantastic. Okay, cool. Yes. Yes. I'll come and fight you right this second. Oh, snap. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do this thing. Who am I going to take out? I may as well just take Bolt. He might be our fastest current flyer. Actually, he might, he might very well. Oh, I don't know. It might actually be a close one between him, our Manticore, and our Griffin. Our Griffin has obviously the dive bombs that let it speed up a little bit. But look at this thing go. It's unstoppable. He's just a little beast. A little lightning blast. He travels at the speed of light. We should call him Light Speed. Lights. I, I'm not good at naming things, okay? You guys should know that. We should just call him Bolt, because that's literally what his name is. But hey, he's about to get himself... Oh, gosh. I just thought of something very, very bad. <laughs> not necessarily bad, but... Oh, okay. I forgot. I'm not a Manticore, and I don't do 10 million damage right this second. Okay, let's, I should be careful about this one here. Um, what we've kind of signed ourselves up for, up, for, up for potentially right here is... Am I going to double my speed upon killing this... Tyranodon, where is it, by the way? I'm trying to hit it. Where are you, Tyranodon? You're over there, aren't you? I'm getting fought off by... Okay, maybe I should have just stuck to my Manticore. Maybe. All right, this is so hard to control. Uh, okay, we stick to our Manticore from now on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, look. I, I mean, this is working. Oh, look at this. <laughs> what? <sighs> okay. Did you see its health just drain into oblivion just then? I would say have a look at the rage buff on the top right-hand side of the screen right now. 170 seconds of every wild dinosaur wanting to fight me. I really shouldn't have dismounted just then, but whatever. Uh, that was crazy. Its health just... I get the feeling if we were to level this thing up to Paragon 15, it would just be untouchable. I feel like it will just drain the health out of everything once you start spamming lightning blasts and it gets its like area of effect damage. But for now, bam, double those stats up, baby. Look at that. And how speed affected at all? Nah, I'm pretty sure speed is normal. That's a relief. I was a little bit worried that we we're going to just be like launching across the world way too quickly. Um, oh, no. Okay, it's going to be hard to hold on. It's going to be hard to stop. You know, the, the button to stop your flyer is X. And the button to launch my lightning blast is also X, which means not only will we be trying to stop, we'll pretty much be counter... It's a bit counterintuitive. We'll be flying around and trying to stop, but also just flying around like crazy. Guys, we're going to call this one right here. 
two brand spanking new unique dinosaurs. I love both of them. Two of the, they're two of my favorite dinosaurs uh, from the game. So what a, what a get. Absolutely amazing. The only thing is uh, we didn't get ourselves any of those gods, but that is fine because tomorrow there is a very, very high chance we're going to get one, two, maybe even three of them. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain. Those thumbs up, but most importantly, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time. Bye. For now.